Hi guys, it's Adrian. Welcome back to Alternate. And in this video, I'm going to do a review of Nice and Knit Yarns. And here I've got with me a few samples of Nice and Knit Yarns that I am going to talk to you about. Nice and Knit is, uh, it's actually a company run by two sisters, Katie and Cara, who are in Connecticut in the United States, and they do um, small batch hand dyed yarns like this that are absolutely beautiful. Their product range is really uh, focused. They've got the one kind of yarn that they offer in four different weights, which is the fingering, sport weight, uh, DK and worsted. They have the same 36 colors that go across that whole range. And they've recently just added in skinny minis as well, which are smaller skeins that you can buy in all four of the, the weights, which I thought was a really cool thing. You, it's not just, you know, fingering or sock weight yarn. You can get a skinny mini of the worsted weight yarn in any of the colorways as well. So it's actually a really versatile product. The fiber content is 100% merino wool. So it's really soft on the hand. It is super wash treated. So this means that you're technically able to pop it in the washing machine and clean it that way, which is really great for when you're gifting it out and you suspect that the person receiving the gift might not necessarily hand wash and dry everything flat. Um, as always, you know, hand washing things is gonna protect it well. It, it's gonna contribute to the longevity of the product. So even though it is super wash treated and you can machine wash it, I would suggest hand washing everything. So as I said, you know, it, it is offered in different weights and so of course the yardage will depend on, on which weight you're getting. Um, but they're actually quite generous, particularly with the fingering weight is there's quite a lot. I'll put the um, information in the description box below and let you know how much you get per skein. But I do know that it is actually quite generous. So the first impressions when you get a skein of this yarn is, I mean, it, it just looks luxurious. We've got this lovely stiff card ball band for most, apart from the fingering um, weight yarns, which have a tag with all of the ball band information. There's this cute little sticker with the nice and knit logo on it, keeping the ball band together. And I'll just take, I don't want to wreck it. And of course being merino, it feels really soft in your hand, in the hand. Um, the ball band information is really easy to read. It says 100% superwash merino wool, yards 218 uh, yards or 200 meters. And this is the worst, yeah. It says it right in the front there. This is the worsted weight. It suggests US seven to eight needles, which is 4.5 to five millimeter needles and a gauge of four to five stitches per inch. And it does say here, machine wash, air dry flat, 30 degrees, um, gives the website. So there's a lot of information on the ball band and it's easy to read, which is great. This yarn is really pleasant to work with and actually it is the most pleasant yarn I've ever worked with because it is so soft and it's actually quite springy as well. At least for the worsted weight yarn, it's four singles or four plies of yarn twisted together. And I feel like the singles are quite tightly twisted, but that the overall product is fairly loosely twisted. So that gives it loftiness, you know, that nice airy feeling that is actually going to help make um, whatever garments you knit this with warmer than if it was a more worsted, tightly knit, uh, twisted yarn. It's actually a really strong uh, yarn. I'm in the habit of hand breaking wool when I knit with it because you can with wool. I would definitely not suggest doing that with a synthetic because it will cut your hand before it breaks. But this is actually a really strong fiber as well and I have found that I need to be quite firm with it if I want to hand break the, um, the, the, the strand of yarn. Is that a big faux pas? Let me know. There really is no special way that you need to knit with this stuff. It's incredibly easy to work with, it's soft on the hand as I've said before. It knits up really nicely, the stitch definition is amazing. I've used, so far I've used three different colorways and they've all had really amazing stitch definition. So they're really good for color work. It's really good for cables as well if you want, uh, you know, and knits and pearl patterns if you want them all to pop out. This yarn blooms really nicely when you wash it for the first time. So it sort of like fills out and gets a little bit puffier. It doesn't stretch too much, which is great. Uh, you know, if you're making a garment and you have gone to the effort of knitting it all to size and then you block, wash it and it just, you know, loses its shape. This doesn't do that, which is really good. So it's got good elas elasticity. Um, I 
was every time I've washed and blocked this, I've used a hair conditioner that had kiwi nut oil in it, and it retained the the fragrance really nicely. Uh, blocking, there was nothing, you know, it didn't fight with me or anything like that. It was really easy to block. Um, and of course, when you wash it subsequent times, you can machine wash it, as I said before. And that's one of the reasons why I chose this to knit baby blankets in, because they do take a battering. And I've seen, you know, the blanket, the, the grey blanket that I knit, which was the wool leaves. Um, I've seen that since, and it doesn't look like it's been battered around too much. So it, it's pretty long wearing, which is great. Now you might wonder what can you use this yarn for? What are the kinds of projects that you would knit this, uh, knit with this? And I, I look, I really think that you can do anything with this yarn from baby blankets because it is machine washable to garments that you would wear directly against the skin, being that 100% merino, it's so soft that you can wear it against the skin. It'd be good for outerwear as well. So I don't really think that you need to limit yourself. Um, socks even because I, it's a really, sort of hard wearing yarn, you can knit socks with this. You could even knit homewares with this, so cushion or pillow covers, that kind of thing. So really, it is such a versatile range. And I think if I was to try and sum up nice and knit yarns, and my experience knitting with nice and knit yarns in one word, it would be versatile, because um, there's just so much that you can do with it. And it comes in all of these beautiful colors. I want to talk about the colors as well and I've just I mean I've just picked these two up to show you and I'm thinking wow they actually go really well together as I said before there's 36 well I might have said that in the last video there are 36 colors and I think they've actually selected their colors really really well there are a whole bunch of neutrals like um, this one here which I think I, I forgot this is driftwood, driftwood. yeah driftwood um, and there's even the darker neutrals like the um, Harpoon, and then I think there's also Oyster that I have, which is another neutral. Um, and then you've got these vibrant colors like this, and I think there's um, Boy, which is even, it's even brighter, and they have some really bright colors. And then they've got rich jewel tone colors, sort of like the Kelp here and Dockside. And then they have these lovely variegated ones as well. And as I said in the unboxing video, there aren't any that are just flat colors that I'm aware of. Most of them are tonal or um, semi-solid colors. So when, if you just knit up a stockinette, you'll see this lovely color gradient changing and it's really subtle for most of the colors. So, um, you know, I think just that range of colors that they have is so inspiring for all different kinds of projects that you can knit. So as I said, very versatile. In terms of prices, it's actually really good. So for the worst, it, uh, so one of these skeins, you're looking at 20 US, uh, and for the other weights, you're looking up to 2240, which I think is really reasonably priced, given that for a sort of medium quality yarn here in Australia, you you pay up to eight or nine dollars for a ball of yarn that's half the weight of these. So if you double it, it's not really that much more to get this, and you're getting a premium hand dyed yarn as opposed to one that goes through this huge mill. Um, and to me, that's a no brainer. Uh, so this concludes my review of the nice and knit yarns. Suffice it to say that I'm a very happy customer uh, and that I'll continue using their yarns in future. And that's a good thing because now I've got, I didn't even count how many skeins I got, but um, I've got a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna go and start doing that now. Okay guys, I'll see you next time for another review. Bye.